first video of this chapter 11 i have discussed with you about transportation of different materials food waste materials and nutrients etc in the body of human beings now in this video i am going to explain you how water minerals and food are transported in the body of plants in plant body uh, their transportation occur in two forms. First uh, is the transportation of water and mineral from roots to all parts of the plant. And the second is the translocation of food material which is produced in leaves or green parts of the plant to all other parts of the plant. In this manner, there are two types of transportation found in plants. First, we talk about transportation of water and mineral in plants. It is done from the roots. For understanding this, how root hair which are found on the roots will absorb water, first we will do an activity. For doing this activity, we will take a big size potato. We will peel it out and we will cut it into two equal parts. Now, we are getting a flat surface in each plant, each part of that potato. Now on that uh, upper part of the potato, we will make a cup-like structure as you are seeing in this picture. And both these potato cups, we will put in different uh, water containers in which the water is on that level field which is below to the level of the cup of the potato. Now in one of the potato cup we will put a sugar solution and we will mark uh, the level of that sugar solution in it. How water is absorbed from root hairs from the soil we will do an activity and for doing this activity we will take and pot take a potato a big size we will peel it out and cut a piece of it so that we will get a flat surface on it now we will make a cup like structure in that up another point another end of the potato as you are seeing in this picture and in this cup of hollow cup of that potato we will put some sugar solution now we are going to put uh, this uh, potato piece in uh, a container or any tub like structure in which water is filled below the level of uh, the uh, cup of potato so that this uh, potato cup will not sink in that water. After some time we will uh, and, and in, we have to mark uh, with the hand, mark the level of that sugar solution with the help of any pin which is found in the cup of potato. Now after some time we will observe that the level of sugar solution has been raised up due to the process of osmosis. Actually osmosis is the process of diffusion through semi permeable membrane. Diffusion is a process in which materials go from higher concentration to low concentration that is movement of particles from higher concentration to low concentration is called diffusion now osmosis is also a type of diffusion where particles move from higher concentration to low concentration region but through a semi permeable membrane in cells of potato semi permeable membrane is found and the Concentration of water is more outside of the potato cup that is in that container. So water will go from outside to inside the cup and that's why the level of sugar solution inside the cup has been raised. This is the process which is used by root hair to absorb water. Concentration of water is more in between the soil particles and from there water will go into the root hair. Root hair is a single cell. Now from this single cell of root hair water will go to the nearby cell and from one after another in this manner water goes up to the xylem of the 
roots. Xylem. What is xylem? Xylem is a vascular tissue. It is a complex tissue in which xylem vessels are found, tracheids are found, which will transport this water from roots to all other parts of the body of the plant. Here, these xylem vessels are continued from the root to stem to all branches of the plant and these will go in the form of beans in the leaves. In this manner, water is transported to all parts of the plant. Now, in transportation of water, not only this process osmosis help, but another process also help for sucking this water from uh, soil with the help of roots and that process is transpiration. Transpiration is a type of evaporation. Here water will get evaporated from the tiny pores of leaves. These are called stomata and through these stomata the water will get evaporated in the form of water vapor and as the water is going up uh, and it is, has been get evaporated the uh, there will be uh, such a pressure will be created on this uh, stem of uh, the water inside the xylem vessels and in this manner water will be served up it, it this process occur in the same manner as you are sucking a juice from uh, um, any glass with the help of a straw and it will create a suction pressure and water will get uh, uh, so the water will get absorbed from the roots. Now, to understand this thing that uh, this water is absorbed from roots, uh, root hair, it will go into the roots and then after, uh, with the help of stem, it will go upward. We will do an activity. And for doing this, uh, as you are seeing this picture, we will take an pot and uh, we will fill a colored water in that. We, in water we will put some colored drops and this water will be colorful. Now after we will cut a transfer section of that stem and we will observe a color tinge in vessels of this stem. This shows that water is transported through the xylem vessels of the stem to upper parts to upper parts of the plant. Now, food which is prepared in green parts of the plant, food is prepared actually in green leaves of the plant, but in some plants like cactus, etc., it can be prepared in different other parts also where green color is found. This food which is prepared in leaves, it goes to all other parts of the plant with the help of another type of vascular tissue that is called phloem. In phloem, sieve tubes are found and in these sieve tubes, a sieve like structure is found in which small tiny pores are there and this food material will get translocated through these sieve tubes and these are the tubes of phloem. So, we will say that with the help of phloem, food will get translocated in all parts of the plant. To understand this thing that phloem help in translocation of food, we can do an activity and for doing this thing, we will take a plant and its girth of the stem is should be enough and we will cut a ring shaped garden of uh, that stem that is the uh, upper part here we will not cut the xylem vessels because xylem vessels are found on inner side and phloem tubes are found on the outer side of the stem so we will not cut the xylem vessels so water is going to be continuously um, transported to up, upper side but the food material which is prepared in the leaves will come downward but it will not reach to all other parts of the plant it will not reach to the roots and near that ring where we have cut down this food material will get collected in the form of a girdle this shows that 
फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ वॉटर एंड फूड डिफरेंट ट्यूब्स आर यूज इन द प्लांट्स फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ फूड मटेरियल ऑजमोसिस ऑजमोटिक प्रेशर क्रिएटेड इन द सेल्स विल ओनली बी एनफ देर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एनी अदर प्रेशर लाइक सक्सन प्रेशर एज इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ वॉटर एंड इट इज डन विद हेल्प ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट हाउ these two vascular tissues xylem for transportation of water and minerals and phloem for transport translocation of food material are important for transportation process in plants